Hello, I'm your friend Teacher Sam. Today, we'll embark on a fascinating journey of being able to describe your hometown in English. You see, your hometown is a part of your identity, a piece of who you are. It's important not just to know where you come from, but also to articulate it well, especially in English. By doing so, you can paint a vivid picture of your roots, your culture, and your experiences. This is a great way to share a piece of your life with others. Diving right in, the first step to describing your hometown is understanding the basic vocabulary. Let's start with some common terms and phrases that you might use. First up is urban. This word is used to describe a city or a town. If you grew up in a bustling city with skyscrapers and traffic, then urban is the word you'd use. On the flip side, we have rural. This refers to the countryside or areas that are not heavily populated. Picture wide open spaces, farms, and small villages. Next, we have coastal and inland. Coastal is used to describe areas that are located near the sea or ocean, while inland is used for places that are far from the sea. So if you're from a beach town, you'd say your hometown is coastal. But if you're from a place surrounded by mountains or plains, you'd use inland. Population is another important term. This refers to the number of people living in your hometown. You might describe your hometown as densely populated if there are a lot of people, or sparsely populated if there are few. Moving on to climate. This is about the weather in your hometown. It could be tropical, temperate, arid, or cold, among others. Then we have landmarks. These are important or unique places in your hometown that stand out. It could be a famous building, a park, a monument, or even a natural feature like a mountain or a river. Lastly, culture. This encompasses the way of life of the people in your hometown. It includes traditions, festivals, food, art, and more. So there you have it. A quick rundown of some key vocabulary that will come in handy when describing your hometown. Remember, these are just some of the many words we can use to describe our hometown. Knowing the right words is like having a map. You know where everything is, and you can guide others through your experiences. So, let's keep this journey going. Now that you have the vocabulary, the next step is forming sentences. Let's start with a simple structure. My hometown is, followed by a descriptive word. For example, my hometown is a bustling urban city. Or, my hometown is a quaint, quiet village. The adjective you use sets the scene and gives the listener an immediate sense of your hometown. But we can make it even more interesting. Let's add some details. How about, my hometown is a bustling urban city with a population of over 1 million people. Now, we have not only described the city as bustling and urban, but also given some idea of its size. You can also describe the location of your hometown. For instance, my hometown is nestled in the heart of the mountains, or my hometown lies on the banks of a serene river. These sentences paint a vivid picture and make your description more engaging. Another way to form sentences is by using comparisons. For example, my hometown is as lively as New York, or my hometown is as peaceful as a serene countryside. Comparisons can help your listener relate to your hometown even if they have never been there. You can also use the vocabulary to describe specific features of your hometown. My hometown is known for its beautiful parks, or my hometown boasts a rich historical heritage. These sentences highlight unique aspects of your hometown. Finally, you can use the vocabulary to express your feelings about your hometown. I love my hometown because it has a warm and welcoming community, or I miss my hometown's vibrant festivals and colorful street markets. Remember forming sentences is like building blocks. You start with a basic structure, then add details, comparisons, specifics, and feelings. The more elements you add, the more colorful and engaging your description becomes. And don't worry if it seems a bit difficult at first. Like any new skill, it takes practice. Keep trying, keep experimenting, and soon you'll find yourself forming sentences with flair and ease. With practice, you will be able to form sentences like these with ease. Moving on, let's look at how to describe the geography and climate of your hometown. When discussing geography, you might mention whether your hometown is located in the mountains or flatlands, near a river or the sea, or perhaps in a bustling city center. For example, you can say, my hometown is nestled in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, or my hometown is a bustling metropolis, surrounded by skyscrapers and bustling streets. Climate, on the other hand, refers to the typical weather conditions in your hometown. Your hometown might have a tropical climate marked by high temperatures and frequent rainfall, or perhaps a temperate climate, characterized by moderate temperatures and four distinct seasons. 
You could describe this by saying, my hometown experiences a hot desert climate with scorching summers and mild winters, or my hometown enjoys a Mediterranean climate with warm dry summers and cool wet winters. Remember, your description can be as detailed as you want it to be. You can mention how the geography and climate affect the lifestyle of the people in your hometown. For instance, the fertile plains of my hometown are perfect for farming, or the constant rainfall in my hometown has led to the growth of lush green forests. Geography and climate are key elements in setting the scene of your hometown. So the next time you describe your hometown, don't forget to include these details to paint a vivid picture of your home for your listeners. Lastly, we'll look at how to describe the culture and landmarks of your hometown. You see, the beauty of any town lies not just in its geographical features, but also in its culture and landmarks, which are the heartbeat of its people. So how do you go about this? Well, let's consider you're from a town known for its rich history and the iconic Statue of Liberty. You could say, my hometown is renowned for its vibrant history, which is reflected in our traditions and festivals. One of our most iconic landmarks is the Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom that stands tall in our harbor. Or perhaps your town is famous for a unique cultural festival. You could describe it as, every fall, our town comes alive with the Autumn Leaves Festival, a celebration of our culture and the changing seasons. The festival is marked by the vibrant hues of the foliage, the music, and our traditional dances. Remember when you're describing landmarks, it's not just about stating their names, it's about painting a picture with words. If your town has a centuries-old cathedral, don't just say we have an old cathedral. Instead try something like, our town is home to a majestic cathedral that dates back to the 18th century, its intricate architecture a testament to the craftsmanship of our ancestors. Culture and landmarks give your hometown its unique identity. By describing them vividly, you're inviting others to experience the soul of your hometown. So keep practicing and soon you'll be able to describe your hometown with the richness it deserves. And that wraps up our lesson on how to describe your hometown in English. We've explored the basic vocabulary, formed sentences, and delved into describing geography, climate, culture, and landmarks. It's essential to keep these points in mind as they form the foundation of your description. Remember, using the right vocabulary to describe your hometown can improve your speaking skills. Keep practicing and you'll get better with each try.